day to enjoy a sweet, juicy slice of watermelon. It is satisfying. It is delicious. It's making my mouth water right now. It also <laughs> helps prevent dehydration on hot summer days. But calm down. There are other reasons to eat watermelon. Yes. It is actually good for us. And registered dietitian Lori Meyer is here this afternoon to tell us why is watermelon so healthy for us? Why do we want to eat watermelon? Well, yes. as the name implies, it's 92% water, one of the mm -hmm. highest water containing fruits. Mm -hmm. So it will rehydrate you on a day like today, but it's so full of nutrients. It's one of the richest sources of antioxidants. Mm. And the one in particular is lycopene, which gives it that red color. And most people, when you think of lycopene, you think of tomato. Right. Mm -hmm. Watermelon has twice as much lycopene as really? tomato. So we're getting lycopene, which helps to reduce certain cancers, especially prostate cancer and heart disease. We're also getting a nutrient called glutathione, which helps boost the immune system, also helps the body to detoxify, which is something we really, mm. really need in this present day. Also vitamin C, beta carotene, potassium, so it's really a rich source of nutrients. So we should be eating it more and more, right? Probably as, as much as we can. Yeah. All right, we already know that men can benefit from lycopene. Does watermelon have any other health benefits for quote-unquote male, male problems? problems? Well, you know, there has been some research that shows that because um, watermelon contains this amino acid called citrulline, mm -hmm. citrulline can convert to another amino acid called arginine, which increases nitric oxide. Mm -hmm. We hear of nitric oxide, this increases blood flow. And so it's been very good for the heart. They also thought that it might be good for erectile dysfunction. Mm -hmm. However, the research is a little bit sketchy. Even though on paper it looks like maybe this is going to be a great thing, uh -huh. you have to eat an awful lot of watermelon <laughs> in order to even get enough citrulline to convert to the arginine. So, guys, it's probably not going to be, you know, the answer. It ain't your magic pill. But, Sorry, guys. But it's still going to help you in, in magic a lot of other well, what can you do with watermelon? Well, there's a lot of things you can do, but first of all, picking out the right watermelon, mm -hmm. and Steve's got the watermelon there to show Which you. Which camera one, wants the watermelon? One of the most important things that you want to do is look for that yellow spot, ah, creamy yellow spot. Right if it doesn't have it on the bottom, it means you are not vine ripened. And so it's going to be sweeter, juicier, but also the research finds that that yellow spot, uh -huh. vine ripening, actually increases the lycopene and other antioxidants. Heavy so you really for want to size. That. It should be yeah. heavy, kind of symmetrical. Oh, gosh, this um, is kind of heavy. No dents, no cuts, no bruises. So and, smelling and, and shaking and is the, not a rule. The smell on this isn't as easy. Cantaloupe you can smell, this mm -hmm. one not as no, easy. Nothing. But you also want to kind of look for the stem as well. And if it's real, real, you know, if it's missing or if it's really dry, shriveled up, it's, it's a sign of an older watermelon. Ah. So with that, also storing it, they find that when you first get the watermelon, keep it out of the refrigerator a few days. That also increases the antioxidants. But once it's cut, mm -hmm. it's got to go in the refrigerator. So you can enjoy it just by the slice. I mm -hmm. also made some kebabs that the kids might enjoy, um, some cheese and some turkey cubes along with watermelon. Mm -hmm. Nice. I also have a smoothie. Now, the one thing about watermelon, if you add a little fat to it, you're actually going to mm -hmm. boost the antioxidant absorption. So, so I have a little bit something. of Greek yogurt uh, with that little cinnamon and mint. Hmm. The sal salsa, instead of tomato, this is watermelon and um, avocado and pineapple Ooh. salsa. Ooh. And then I have the traditional Greek salad that has the feta cheese and the onion and some olives, I'm olive oil, with balsamic vinegar. People are loving that salad. It's so refreshing. It's such a nice thing to eat on a day like today. All right. Wow. Lori, thanks. Got a question for the experts? Email them. Ask the expert. Today's TMJ4.com. You can also leave a voicemail. That number is right there on your screen.